Last year, the Breakfast with Santa fundraiser raised more than $7,000 for the Help the Homeless Fund. And if you are looking for a great way to give back, the Star Council is putting on the event again. And joining me with more information is Justin McLeod, the Community Relations Coordinator at Roanoke City Public Schools, along with Mark Randolph, a William Flanning student and Star Council member. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for, us. Having, Thanks for us. having us. I love this event already. But Mark, let's first start with you. What is the, the Star Council? Uh, the Star Council is Students Take Action in Roanoke. Basically, we you know help homeless students buy shoes, toiletries, coats, and whatnot. That's great. So, how many homeless students are there in our area? Because when you hear that, it kind of takes you back for a second. Yeah, I think it's hard for a lot of people to imagine. I think it's been an issue for a long time, but it continues to grow. Um, even though many of us look at it, the recession being over, we still have families struggling. So, as of last week. We have 350 homeless or students identified as homeless in Roanoke City Public Schools. We typically will have about 500 by the end of the school year. Wow. Okay. So this is an event that is kind of coming together to help that. And last year, seven over seven thousand dollars. That's correct. And I think what we like about this best is this is student driven. Yeah. Mark is a student at William Fleming High School. We have students from Patrick Henry. The crosstown rivals getting together right. for a good cause. That's what we really like about it. it that's student driven. And all the proceeds Saturday, because of Sodexo Magic and its vendors, all the food's mm -hmm. been donated. So if you give $5, $5 is going to the homeless students. There's no overhead, no administrative costs whatsoever. And were you a part of it last year as well? I was. I've been a part of it since my sophomore year. Okay. And how did you all come up with the idea for, for this event? Because, I mean, it's such, you know, a family-friendly event. Um, what made you all want to come up with this idea? We just want to have a way to bring the community together as well as raise money for the homeless students. I think right. it's a great thing for everyone to come together and, you know, just have a good time, eat yeah. some good food, and just socialize. And it's just a great program. Yeah, so uh, raising awareness while also raising funds. So what kind of impact has the Help the Homeless Fund had on this? Well, we've purchased individual needs, where their coat, kid needs a coat, okay. uh, may need toiletries, we buy a lot of shoes. But I think where we're having the biggest impact or the largest impact is we have a partnership with the city of Roanoke. Mm -hmm. When a family becomes homeless, they're entered into a program called Central Intake. Okay. And so that program or that um, uh, department essentially uh, gives those families different services that they can use, utilize to help them out. Okay. We're sort of a last resort. If a family needs money paying a, you know, an electric bill or rent, we come in and help pay that bill. We pay the bill directly. Mm -hmm. And out of that, we've already spent well over $14,000 on that program. We've helped about 95 families, which comes out to nearly 200 students. Wow. Okay. And sounds like great, can we prove that our homeless number is going down? The yeah. answer is yes. So two years ago, we were at 604. This last school year, we ended the school year with 488. So we believe our efforts are working, and I think that's where you're seeing the largest impact. Yeah, so now the community can kind of help get involved by going to this breakfast. So give us the details on the breakfast. When can we come, and how do we get tickets? Uh, the breakfast is going to be this Saturday, December 1st. It's going to be from 11 th uh, 830 to 1130. Okay, so if somebody Saturday, December 2nd. December oh, yeah. 2nd, okay. excuse December me. December 2nd, yes. This so, Saturday. And they can get tickets um, at, the at the door. $7 for adults, $5 for children, and $20 for a family of four. Thank you so much.